Beloved friends of light, welcome by our YouTube channel 365 days with our blessed Mother Mary. Welcome by Universal Ministry of Divine Love. Welcome by our one year long journey with the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother Mary. I am Reverend Maria Petrovska and I am here to greet you today on our day 56 of our spiritual journey. My dearest hearts of light, I am very, very grateful for your fiery response to the urgent message of our Blessed Mother Mary yesterday. Thank you very much for giving an answer to her call. Thank you very much, my blessed new friends of light who are just subscribed. You're very, very welcome. Please take a moment to watch the video of the day 52 where I explain much more about how you can follow this video at such a level of commitment. You are totally free, my blessed friend of light, to do everything what you want, but especially after this fiery message, this urgent message of Mother Mary. I hope that you too, like all of us here, really want to enter in the fiery adoration to the Immaculate Heart of Blessed Mother Mary. I hope that you are here to do with us all for prayers that we usually do every day. Mother Mary asked us to increase the number of Hail Marys that we do every day. During our vigil, we'll continue to do three Hail Marys. And I ask you personally, my blessed friends of light, to add 30 Hail Prayers more every day during the day at any moment when you wish to do this so that we will recite 33 Hail Marys every day. We will start to give our Father prayer three times every day of our vigil, as our Blessed Mother Mary has called us to do this at least three times. You are also welcome to recite our Father prayer nine times every day. We will do it three days on our video vigil and you are welcome to do the rest at home, at any place where you are every day. Please just increase the number of your recitations from the core of your heart. May it be not just automatic prayer, but the prayer from the depths of your being, the depths of your heart, where you add to every word of your prayer the fire of your being. Please reinforce the words of your prayer with the Spirit, with the Holy Spirit coming through you, moving through your mouth, through your heart, through all your chakras, through this whole world. So, my blessed hearts, I am very grateful that you take the urgent message of Blessed Mother Mary seriously. I have heard some voices telling that anyway our Blessed Father in Heaven will win on this planet, anyway these forces of light will win. But dear hearts, I believe in the victory of the forces of light and I am a part of these forces the same way as you are also the part of these forces. We need to understand one thing, that this planet Earth, and especially this material world, the material dimension, is just not uh, created for the reason so our Blessed Father in Heaven will, will do everything He wants here. He has created this physical domain for a very special reason. It has created it as a school room for all of us. 
blessed sons and daughters of his heart. The place where we all have ability to choose. So he is not resisting any choice of anyone here. It just gives us this possibility to choose and to express our free will. So this is why people on earth are allowed to do everything. So in this place and especially in this time, we are called to exercise our ability to choose, to exercise this gift of the free will and we are here to learn how to take a personal responsibility upon our personal lives and upon all that is going on on this planet. This is the whole issue, my blessed friends. This is not about what our Father will do or will not do. So many things are absolutely going wrong right now. There are forces of darkness in incarnation, there are forces of light in reincarnation, and we all together, these souls who are standing on the side of the light, making our choices every day, every moment of the day, and also these other souls who have chosen the other path, they also make their choices. And this final battle will take place here, when all these people have made the choices at once. It's not the time we will postpone our responsibility and our choices in life. In this cycle of time, all life is accelerated to this very quick point of the transformation of the light, where we all together will go through, through the zero point, which is the heart of the living Christ, where everything, the light and darkness, will all go to the light. But prior to this process of transformation, we are called to make our choices, and in this time we are called to make our choices quickly so that it will take not too long anymore these perversions, these misqualifications of energy, these perversions of the cosmic gloves of Blessed Father in Heaven. So it is not the point that our Blessed Father will win here. He will win anyway. The point is, should we learn our lessons or not? This is what this time is all about. So, this is very important teaching. Please listen to it again and again. Really, it will help you to understand why the situation on our planet is uh, in the way it is and what is our position here. Just make your choice. Just make your choice to stand for the light, for the principles of divine laws, the principles of love, peace, freedom, justice, harmony, compassion, and all these good things our Blessed Father and Mother in Heaven has cre have created for us, their children. We are here to enjoy our existence here and following the divine laws which help us to continue our life here in harmony with all life. When we all together will choose to be one with the divine laws of our Father, the new age of infinite enlightenment, freedom, justice, brotherhood, this new age will be born. It will be manifested to stay here forever. So this is why we increase our prayer, my blessed hearts, so that many, many souls may be awakened up to this realization that is no any time left to postpone the personal choices to postpone the making of the choices in life. 
This time is all about to be or not to be. To be in this human embodiment, to be in this physical body all together or not. So my dear hearts, let's understand this point of the teachings of our Blessed Father and Mother in Heaven and let's follow our path by taking our full responsibility not only about our personal lives but also about the life and continue in the but also about the continuation of life on this planet. We are here as the servants through the Earth's evolutions to support our blessed brothers and sisters of light and embodiment, our beloved mankind, to go to the point of complete purification, personal transformation, personal enlightenment, personal Christhood. My blessed hearts, by uniting our voices in prayer, we expand such a wave of light through this whole planet that many will react, that many will resonate to. Many people will react to the wave of light that we expand through our vehicle. And let's start now by giving three times the prayer our I thank you, I love you, and I bless you, my beautiful friends of late, for your willingness to be here every day. Let's start now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, I am. I am thy kingdom come, I am thy will being done. I am on earth, even as I am in heaven. I am giving this day daily bread to all. I am forgiving all life this day, even as I am also all life forgiving. I am leading all men away from temptation. I am delivering all men from every evil condition. I am the kingdom. I am the power and I am the glory of Yahweh in eternal, immortal manifestation. All this I am. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I am. I am thy kingdom come. I am thy will being done. I am on earth, even as I am in heaven. I am giving this day daily bread to all. I am forgiving all life this day, even as I am also all life forgiving. I am leading all men away from temptation. I am delivering all men from every evil condition. I am the kingdom. I am the power. And I am the glory of Yahweh in eternal, immortal manifestation. All this I am. Let's continue now with our three Hail Marys. Hail Mary, full of grace, Yahweh is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Yahushua. Holy Mary, Mother of our Savior, pray for us, sons and daughters of Yahweh, now and at the hour of our victory over sin, disease, 
and death. Hail Mary, full of grace, Yahweh is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Yahshua. Holy Mary, Mother of our Savior, pray for us, sons and daughters of Yahweh, now and at the hour of our victory over sin, disease and death. Hail Mary, full of grace, Yahweh is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Yahshua. Holy Mary, Mother of our Savior, pray for us, sons and daughters of Yahweh, now and at the hour of our victory over sin, disease, and death. Amen. Act of consecration over your soul to the Immaculate Heart of Mother Mary. O Blessed Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, and Mother of Mercy, Queen of the Angels, a refuge of all children of Yahweh, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to you our very being, in our whole life, all that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To you we give our bodies, our hearts and our souls. To your Immaculate Heart we consecrate our homes, our families, our countries and our beloved planet. We desire that all that is in us and around us may belong to you and may share the benefits of your motherly benediction. And may this act of consecration of our souls to your immaculate heart may be truly everlasting. We renew this day at your feet the secret promises of our baptism and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves to profess courageously the truth of our holy faith in the law of the One, our blessed Yahweh, I am that I am, and to live our lives as the true children of our Father and Mother in Heaven, who are submissive to all directions of the living Christ. We pledge ourselves to keep the commandments of El Shaddai and to devote ourselves wholeheartedly to your service, Blessed Mother Mary, use us, beloved Mother, release your blessings to this world through us, and help us to heal, to teach, to support, to guide, blessed children of Yahweh, to the deepest union with the One through your Immaculate Heart. We proclaim the coming of the Kingdom of your adorable Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, in the inner temples of our hearts in the beating heart of all creation. We proclaim the living presence of the Christ shining brightly in the secret core of every family, every country, and through the whole world, as above, so below, as in heaven, so on earth. Amen. Prayer to Mother Mary to save all children. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth, 
to thy immaculate heart, the channel of all graces, we pray for all children worldwide. In the name of the Most Holy One, I am that I am. We consecrate every living child on our planet to your immaculate heart. We bring them all to you, blessed Mother Mary. We place the precious souls in your loving hands, and we ask you to be the comforting and protecting mother to all little ones on our planet. May the Shekinah, O Divine Glory, the everlasting mantle of light of Cosmic Virgin, cover now with the invincible shield of protection every child on earth. O Holy Mother, we raise up our voices and we pledge you from the bottom of our hearts to seal all children on earth, included the unborn in your immaculate heart. Truly your heart is divine source of goodness that never fails to love, to protect, to heal, and to guide. Seal the little ones on our planet from the wicked satanic forces. Bind the evil at the core of the perverted nature. Paralyze the dark forces wherever they are and the intentions to destroy the secret innocence holiness and purity of children of Yahweh. O Blessed Mother of Salvation, save the lives and the souls of all children on our planet. May your loving maternal protection save them forever from all danger. Keep all children protected from abduction, sexual perversion and abuse, murder, and satanic sacrifice. May all children on our planet find their refuge in your immaculate heart that as an invincible wall of protection surrounds every born and unborn child in this world. May they be protected from all sin. May their virtues and talents expand through your nourishing love. May they grow daily in wisdom and grace. May the core of all goodness that beloved Yahweh have placed in their hearts and the moment of birth shine forth day and night and expand more and more. Beloved Mother of Salvation, present every living child on earth to thy divine Son, Yahushua, for his ultimate blessing of soul's recovering and resurrection. Wash all sorrow and pain, and take away any remembrance of committed misdeeds from their souls. Heal their soul wounds, and make them all whole again. May no one of them perish, but know the everlasting life and love of our Creator. May their souls, minds, and bodies be saved. May they go through life strengthened by your personal guidance and presence. May the Eternal Father always look upon them with delight and see in them the reflection of their immaculate beauty. May the joy of eternal life in Christ never leave their souls, no matter what can happen on their way. May the right hand of Yahweh and the right hand of the Cosmic Virgin remain above the head of every child on earth. And may the presence of Yahweh at the sight of every child block any evil intention against them, and so it will be by the holy grace of the Almighty One and divine intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen.
my dear child, may the radiance of the purest love of our Creator shine upon you day and night. I am your mother, and I am here with you today because I love you as my own. The kingdom of heaven, where my blessed son resides, is open unto every one of you. I am proud of you, my child, and I am so happy to see that your heart is on fire to follow my vigil. Thank you for answering my call for a daily increase of your prayers. Yes, we need your support from below so that we may act on your behalf from above. The times are changing, my child. What was good and correct for yesterday is not strong and clear enough for tomorrow. We all are transmitted to the next level of service, you and I and this whole world. We all need to see how we can give more, become more, express more what is anchored by Yahweh in the deepest core of our being. I'm here to tell you, my child, that there is a great need for the soul that choose to be a living example of a selfless servant of our Father here on earth. The time for the speechly small-minded people that can be easily controlled by the vicious power elite can stay any longer here. May I make it clear to you, beloved, that our blessed Yahweh is not interested in the untold numbers of blind followers of his light and wisdom. He is interested in the raising of spiritual leaders, fiery servants, shepherds of the souls, warriors of the spirit here on earth. He is looking for a true army of light in embodiment that can be of a great use for him. Please remember that not the numbers of multitude, but the quality of the heart flame of awakened people, the courage of the souls that dare to take their stand for truth and freedom will determine the future of this planet. In this time, many are called to leave the herd and to become the shepherds of mankind. Your spiritual powers are about to be restored in these days. When you choose to do more for your father, he will choose to increase his stream of light through you. This increase of divine light will happen not for the reason of your personal spiritual satisfaction, but for the reason of fulfillment of a great spiritual task on this planet than that that you did before. My blessed child, when you know deep within your being that you are ready to take a new step on your path, you may claim a new level of responsibility in the fulfillment of the divine plan on earth. Don't be passive in that, but become proactive, my child, and just claim a new assignment for your soul by showing to yourself and to this life 
that you really want to do more for the expansion of freedom, peace and light on your planet. Many of you are too cautious, an expression of the will of your soul. If you really want to serve your Father while you are still here in embodiment, stop waiting that some extraordinary things will happen unto you. In many cases, there will be no voice from heaven speaking to you, no visions from our Father's kingdom that will unfold your future, no any special sign showing you in what direction your soul should go. Stop waiting for all of this, my child. Stop waiting until heaven will choose you to serve the light. It is time to choose your own divine assignment. Yes, it is true that many special signs were given to our servants in the past in order to wake up their souls for the world service. But in these days, we give much greater attention and support to these sons and daughters of the Most High who dare to claim the role in the great cosmic drama of salvation of the Earth evolutions. We have decided to take a step back here in heaven on our approach to mankind so that the children of the Almighty One in Incarnation may step forward and show the courage and preparedness to be the builders of their own destiny on earth. And so it is your turn, beloved, to step forward and to claim an assignment that you know deep inside you are ready to take on yourself. I encourage you to do exactly this today. My love is always with you, dear. Amen.